pros and cons, Mexico City. It is one of my favorite cities in the world and I have been all over the globe. So let me tell you why. I'm gonna give you the pros first. Absolutely amazing food. You can get good street food. You can go into local family restaurants with exceptional food. Oh my God. I found this pork taco place. It was like being in heaven. Okay. Um, then pro, you can walk everywhere. And in fact, walking everywhere is better because the traffic is terrible. That's one of the cons. Um, but say for example, walking from the historic center to my hotel in San Rafael took about a half an hour, probably would have taken 45 minutes in a car, in a taxi. So walkable city, wonderful. You really do get every option. I mean, um, I haven't lived there long term, uh, but the Wi-Fi is pretty good. It does change from house to house, building to building, depending on what kind of Wi-Fi they have. Um, but your food options, your transportation options, the metro is very low cost. Okay, sure, it gets full, but it's on a very main street, so it's pretty walkable to get to those stations. It's only eight pesos, which is like a quarter in USD. Um, people are really friendly. There's lots of art. Um, arts happenings going on. I had a very nice conversation with a sculptor, successful sculptor doing high-end sculpture in bronze. You know, where's that going to happen? Um, coffee. Wow, so many coffee places. Uh, because the coffee in Mexico is exceptional. I had been very snotty about saying Hawaii had the best coffee, kind of coffee, and it is delicious, but you gotta try this Oaxaca, Chiapas. Um, see, I spent most of my time centrally located and in Southern Mexico in my two months here. So um, I'm telling you, the pros are a lot, and I'm gonna go back as soon as I can. Cons, okay, here we go. I think the worst thing is the traffic. Um, the other thing, like, it just gets so bad. I mean, it's a bigger city than New York City. And then the other thing is the uh, smog. But I didn't, you know, you'll have gorgeous sunny days that you just don't even feel like the smog affects you at all. I didn't get a sore throat. I got kind of uh, congested in Oaxaca City because of their smog. So I don't think it's any worse. I'm sure people are going to tell me it is, but honestly, I didn't find the smog to be a big problem. Now, I was only there, that's my third visit. So I've been to Mexico City three times. I've stayed in the same hotel in the same neighborhood in the San Rafael neighborhood, which is not the hipster Roma and Condesa highly touristed area but i like it almost better because there's more local places to eat uh there's more of kind of a uh working class culture there it feels safe at night uh, i found a lot of good restaurants that i liked because uh, i didn't have kitchen so um so there you have it pros and cons if you want to ask a question about mexico city let me know and i'll see if i can help you on youtube um I also have a consulting service, travel consulting service, so if you want that, you can have a one-to-one -one time, and we get on the phone, and I answer all your questions, so have a wonderful day, and if you're going to Mexico City, it's a good choice. This is now is a good time to go, actually.